Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I'm going to share with you guys how I'm living more sustainably this year, as that's one of my New Year's resolution to be more sustainable. From morning to night, these are little things you can carry out throughout the day to live more environmentally friendly. Starting with bathroom, you can change your products to things that are more environmentally friendly. First of all, I changed my toothbrush to the bamboo toothbrush that are recyclable and more eco-friendly. And these are zero waste because they don't use any plastic for the packaging either. It's actually really easy to find products like bamboo toothbrush, so look around where you live. The toothpaste that I use is actually vegan as well. It is free of dyes, artificial sweeteners, and fluoride and other chemicals and it's blended with natural spearmint and eucalyptus oil. I'm not removing my makeup in the morning but when I do I use the product by Dia Claris. This is actually a Korean brand that's vegan and cruelty free and they're just really gentle on your skin and removes the makeup really well. It's just a really good product overall and I also use their black sugar facial polishing sugar scrub as well. Now moving on to cleansing my face, I've been using products from The Own Leaf and they're really gentle and mild and really good for my skin. They're vegan and they're cruelty free so I feel very comfortable and more eco-friendly using them. The cleanser that I use is Blemish Vegan Low pH Cleanser so it's very mild and soft on your skin so if you have a sensitive skin this is a really good cleanser to use if you want to use vegan and cruelty free product. Another little habit we can get used to is to close the tap when we're not using the water, like when you're applying cleanser on your face. The toner that I'm using is also from The Own Leaf. It's vegan and it's a PHA toner. Like I said, these products are just so mild and gentle on your face, so it doesn't react with your skin too much. It's not harsh on your skin, so if you have dry skin or sensitive skin, it's really good for you. I like to use like products from same brands because they obviously make it so that it goes well with each other. So for the moisturizing product as well, I use the one from The Own Leaf. And this Sika cream is so good, it's so moisturizing. My skin feels super soft afterwards. And on top of it, it's cruelty free and vegan, which makes it even better. Because my skin is really dry, I like to apply cream after lotion as well. And I use Fruitia's Hydrating Blueberry Intensive Cream. This I shared with you before in my video. It's vegan as well and super soft and it just smells really good. Speaking of good smelling berries, another thing you can do to be a little more sustainable is to make your own food. As well as eating healthy, cooking at home just reduces food waste and packaging waste as well. And I like to have yogurt and oatmeal in the morning, so I actually made my own yogurt. This is another tip. If you can make it at home, make it domestic as possible. I make my own granola and I also make my own soy milk yogurt as well. It's actually really easy if you look up the recipes online. As we all know, plastic isn't exactly the best to use for our body, so I stay away from plastic products and for breakfast, I like to use this recycled coconut bowl as my bowl and it's just so pretty and cute and it's also healthy for the environment. Yummy food, healthy me, and happy earth. I've talked about this a few times on my channel and cosmetic products that passed on animals are just not a way to go. I love animals too much, so I changed all my cosmetic products to cruelty free. This brand Benton is a new Korean brand that I found and they don't test on animals and their sunscreen is so Good. It feels so smooth and silky on your face. It's not sticky. It's literally the best sunscreen I have ever used in my life. I love it so much. And I have found an amazing brand called Catrice. This is a European vegan and cruelty free brand, I believe. And they are just so affordable. 
It is quite expensive if you want to change all your cosmetic products to cruelty free or vegan but this brand is so affordable and they have so many different products too that I bought so many different things from them. So my lips get very chapped during winter so I have to moisturize and I use Burt's Bees because they are cruelty free. But do be aware that cruelty free does not mean vegan. As for my foundation, I actually like using cushion. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. In Korea, cushion foundation are the thing, like everyone just uses cushion. And I like using Amuse's product. I've talked about this brand a few times as well. As you can see, this is not a new product that I just opened. I've used this for quite a long time and I love it. Same as for Divitalia, excuse the dirty palette, but it just shows how much I use it and I love it. They are both Korean brands that are cruelty free. I love seeing these Korean brands going vegan and cruelty free. Same as a mainstream brand such as Tony Molly. So these two are the eyeliners that I use. And this one is for my under, uh, under eye waterline. And it's from Catrice. And this is actually from Tony Molly. And they have a vegan eyeliner which I was very surprised about. And for my lashes, I use the one from Amuse. You guys know how much I love Amuse. It's just honestly such a great mascara. For my eyebrows, I use two products, one from Amuse and one from Catrice. The Catrice is the eyebrow pencil, so I can draw my eyebrows or fill in the gaps. And with Amuse, it's an eyebrow fixer, so it helps my brows stay in place. As you can see, I am testing out a lot of Catrice products and this highlighter is actually really bomb and another cool brand that i found is kip and touch this is also a korean brand vegan and cruelty free and this is a blusher it's actually really hard to find a blusher that's cruelty free in korea so it was glad to find that one and kip and touch also have their lip products which they are more known for and these lip tints are amazing so it's actually a lip plumper lip tint so one of those that you apply on your lips and they kind of tingle and give it like a more of a plump look and i just love the color as well and how it applies on my lips it has a jelly kind of texture to it and the look i love it so much it's like a gloss and a tint and a plumper all at the same time i really hope you guys give this product a try Now that I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. And it's amazing how many different methods there are to stay sustainable. And when it comes to fashion, there are multiple ways. And one of them is supporting brands that are sustainable. Vivaya is a very good example of a sustainable fashion brand. They sell shoes and their products are all sustainably made and produced. And even their packagings are very sustainable as it's all paper and it's zero waste. As you can see, by purchasing from Vivaya rather than other brands, you are taking an action equivalent to recycling more than six water bottles, which prevents them from breaking into millions of microplastic which can harm the marine life. The ocean thanks you. Also, I love how they suggest you to recycle the box. I usually use these boxes to gift wrap. Come on, let's admit, shoe boxes are the best boxes when it comes to gift wrapping. And just because they're a sustainable brand doesn't mean their shoes are bad. Look at the design on these shoes. It's actually really high quality shoes. From top to bottom, all the details are amazingly done. I love the little logo on the bottom as well. And it's just so comfortable, warm, and cozy. And it's so in with the current fashion trend as well, which I love. I got quite a few pairs and I got these black ankle boots as well because mine got ruined from Europe so it was perfect for me to get these. Rather than just getting some cheap, really bad boots, I got high quality boots that are sustainable, comfortable and beautiful looking as well. Just look at these designs. Look how slick they are. They look so sexy just on its own. 
and tada! I actually got to test out and share with you guys Vivaya's newest design for last shoes and they are so cute look at the slick design look how simple it is and I just love the packaging as well you can just tell that it's sustainably friendly and it reminds you to be more actively sustainable I love these shoes so much the best thing about these are that they are comfortable usually when you wear shoes for the first time they tend to hurt because they are too hard and they're just uncomfortable but for some reason these shoes are just so comfortable from the beginning so I don't have to worry about getting blisters or anything and most of all I just love the simple slick design this flash shoes will be available on website for purchase from the third week of February and they have been so kind to provide me with 18% coupon for all the people watching this video. So please check the link in the bio if you would like discount or any of the shoes from Vivaya. And I can guarantee you guys because I tried every single one of these shoes as soon as I got them and opened them, they are 100% cute no 120 percent cute and 180 percent comfortable i could not believe how comfortable these were so if you are a fan of cute comfortable shoes that are sustainable as well definitely check them out check out the link in the bio I'm all dressed and I'm heading to a cafe. I love going to cafes in Korea because they all have very unique interior designs and atmosphere. And I also like exploring through their cute little menus and signature menus as well. But when you're at a cafe as well, there are ways to stay more sustainable. I know a lot of cafes, especially the franchises, don't really use mug cups or cups that they wash to reuse. But if you use one-time use plastic or paper cup, that's more waste. So make sure you can go to a cafe where they do use the mug cups or carry your own tumbler with you. That way you can have it take away or drink in and not produce any waste. And people really undermine the power of walking and biking. You don't have to take a car everywhere you go. When you go grocery shopping, walk if it's a nearby distance. And when you go grocery shopping, you will realize how much plastic and styrofoam people use. Everything is wrapped in plastic and really saddens me. But thankfully, there are sections where all the fruits and vegetables are not as much wrapped. So I like to go for those options if possible. Like these broccoli, they're not wrapped. So I decided to take these ones in my little mash bags. I like to carry mash bags with me with my recyclable and reusable grocery shopping bags so I don't have to use plastic bags just to put in one broccoli. As I mentioned during the breakfast, it's best to cook at home if possible because when you do food delivery or takeouts, you're creating unnecessary packaging waste as well as not being able to portion control so there's going to be more food waste as well. Recently, I've taken a great liking to cooking at home and I have a new rule. Every meal I eat, I need to make it look beautiful. It has to be tasty as well as looking pleasing for the eye. And another good tip is I actually have all the vegetable scraps all in one bag and freeze them. And once I have enough of it stored, I bake them into vegetable broth. Another way to reduce food waste as much as possible. Another thing I do is I try to eat as less meat as possible. Actually, this year I haven't had meat at all. Because the thing with meat is, they might be tasty, but they produce a lot of carbon emission during the process of being made. As always, I don't really tell people to go vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian or anything like that, but I do always emphasize on the importance of reducing the consumption of meat. It's literally so much better for the body and the environment. There is nothing bad with it and it's so easy as well so it's definitely worth a try. And look at this dish. It's completely vegan but look how delicious it looks. It was really delicious, super pleasing for the eye and so so good, healthy, happy for the earth and myself.
There are honestly so many ways to stay sustainable throughout the day. Another way to stay sustainable is to use a eco-friendly loofah for the dishes. So this product is actually a straight up dry towel gold which is 100% eco-friendly and it doesn't contain plastic so it's zero waste product as well. Another thing in Korea in a lot of the apartments they have this technology where you can just touch the tap and water comes on. So you can adjust the water so that it doesn't run fully. This way you don't have to waste your water as much. Speaking of wasting water, let's go to the shower. During shower as well, there are so many different ways to stay sustainable. As you can see, I turn off the water when I'm not using it, like when I'm applying shampoo on my hair. Like when I was washing my face, it's the same thing. When you're not directly using the water to wash it out and rinse, turn it off. And I have a lot of ugly soap products in my bathroom. This is the same brand that made the eco-friendly loofah for the dishes. And they have shampoo bars for different types of scalps. And the soap that I use, actually I've been using this one for about a year now. And it's so soft and good for your skin. And they also have one for the pets, so I use it to wash silver. They do not test on animals and they're eco-friendly and vegan. And despite what they say, they are not ugly. I think they're actually so cute and authentic looking soaps. And because they use paper packaging as well, it's zero waste. The sustainability movement in Korea is growing so much that there are so many brands like Ugly Soap that support these kind of sustainable lifestyle. Like the loofah for the dishes, they have loofah for the body as well. I have other tips for shower. When you're done showering, really squeeze your water out from the hair and brush off the excess water from your body before using the towel. That way you can use the towel multiple times because they dry so much faster and they're not as wet. Okay, this is a cool sustainable product option you can choose. This bathroom mat is actually made of diatomite and it is a naturally occurring fossilized remains of diatoms which absorbs water. So these are the little things that I do to stay more sustainable. As you can see, there are so many things we can do throughout the day to be a little more eco-friendly and they're very easy and simple as well. So I hope this video inspired you to be a little more sustainable and try out some of the things that I do. And if you have your own suggestion as well, let me know in the comment section below.